Hello everyone and welcome to the Kyle Davis vlog number 16. We are live right here before the MPX show goes live in front of hundreds of people. And as you see, my guest this time is the one and only Smack. He is he is a very popular figure, uh, upcoming in my stories especially. And uh, I, I'm glad he's here today because these, these stories I can't tell on my own. And I'm very excited that I have another perspective. Uh, we'll get to as many as we can. Uh, the first story that comes to my mind, and we talked about this in our production meeting before we went on the air here... <laughs> I like the production meeting. Laughing at my production meeting. Uh, Not everything I do in a car is, you know, underhanded or whatnot. Anyway, my favorite smack story, I think, uh, not so much a smack story, but someone that, somewhere that, you know, he was involved in. We did a show in the great city of Atlanta. Atlanta, Texas. And... That's right, Anthony. That's the only airtime you're ever going to get on my vlog. Anyway, Anthony Montosio not going to be in any. He 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 just made his appearance. The great referee Anthony. Anyway, we were in the great city of Atlanta, Texas. We were doing USPW. Well, actually, I didn't even do. I I wasn't even on the show. Is that what it was called? USPW. No. USPW in Atlanta. What I, you were? Uh, what did you do? The guy wrestled Texas Red in a hardcore match. That can never get old. Texas Red in a hardcore match. <sighs> you can put that on any card in Texas. Anyway, we we rode out there with Lamada and Tadlock, and uh, Tadlock faced uh, Tadlock actually faced Lamada. Uh, did the Dragon Rana? The the roof was like ten feet in the air, so it wasn't a it wasn't a very big building, and he could have touched the ceiling when he was on Lamada's shoulders. Anyway, uh, there was no crowd to speak of. Not shocked. But our master plan was we were going to go from Atlanta, Texas to Marshall in time to be uh, to be there by the by the end of the show just to see if we could do it. And uh, and so we got out of there during intermission. Uh, Lamada actually rode back with Texas Red, so it was just me, him, and Tadlock. And we, uh, well, we we had our plan of how we were going to go, but we didn't know. Well, how we were gonna go? We we didn't really know how to get the hell of Atlanta, Texas. I, I I thought I remembered which direction to go, but before we could leave, we had to get gas. Right, smack. Uh, yeah, I, I'm literally pulling up into a gas station, and I send Kyle in to go in and pay because I'm in my gear. I'm not going in and paying, but I did have to stand outside and pump my gas <laughs> in my blue trash bag looking pants and a singlet. And with uh, multiple rednecks at the gas station giving me weird eye. Realistically, it was just a normal Saturday night for them, probably. Most likely. Anyway, so out of three wrong turns, we finally made the right turn. Uh, and it's probably 45 minutes to an hour from Atlanta to Marshall. And uh, we, 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 <laughs> we're we talking to Murdoch on the way. You know, Stall time. Uh, uh, do a long promo. Do another intermission. Whatever. We'll be there. <clears throat> And uh, we don't know what the hell the main event is. We don't know who's in the ring. We don't know what's going on. Uh, except the Murdoch's in the main event. And uh, we pull up to the building. Smacks the face at the time. Me and Tadlock were heels together. Uh, but before this, at the time, we were actually texting Matt Reagan, who was out there, with Murdoch, telling him to tell Murdoch to stall and <laughs> kill time. <laughs> what a great story. <sighs> but it's not over yet. So we pull up uh, into the in front of the parking lot. He doesn't even stop. He just slows down, and me and Tadlock jump out of the, uh, we jump out of the car and jump into the ring. Yeah, I'm driving by. I cover my head up so nobody can see me. Uh, I think I almost hit Mongoose's wife at the time. You may remember her from vlog number 13. That was a big hit. Go ahead. And I pull around. They run in. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I pull around, jump out of my car. Thank God I left the car unlocked and left my keys in. <laughs> Run through the back, literally yell, is the show still on? Don't even stop to look, and ran straight out the curtain and hit the ring. Yes. I hit the ring, and, and, and Kyle, Murdoch, and Tadlock all stopped, you know, beating up on Murdoch's opponent. I don't... Uh, Bobby. The, beautiful, the, beautiful Bobby... The ninja guy. Want to be Kung Fu Man. It was terrible. He's really, had, really hairy guy. He had a lot of body hair. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> and uh, in that match, Tadlock... Uh, he did a beautiful spin wheel kick. I will always remember that. Yes, yes, yes. And I, I like how before all that happened, 
Bobby gets me up and tells me I'm taking the heat. <laughs> I look at him and I go, the hell I am, bitch. You're the fresh, I'm the fresh one. You've been getting your ass kicked. And, uh, uh, also in that match, uh, I took his finisher, the neck breaker, and I handed him my phone. <laughs> you forgot about that part. <laughs> I did. I'm like, hey, smack, hold my phone while I put the neck breaker on me, will you? And I think he handed it to the referee. Because I, I didn't like taking bumps with my phone in my pocket, obviously. So that that, that was memorable. So we, 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 I don't know. That That's a fun story. I'm glad we got to share that. That is a good story. That's really all that, all that is. Just doing, sh- it's not unheard of to do sh- two shows in a day, but. To do two shows that are that far apart and going <laughs> three wrong directions and still making it. That's, that's Yes. It. The fans were standing outside when we pulled up. And when we ran inside, they went inside with us. So they they cared to see what the hell we were gonna do. That, that was fun. That is. That is. Um, uh, we got there was another story I was thinking of. Uh, we didn't talk about this before. Uh, after the Royal Rumble, that story. <laughs> um, me, Macho Mike, him, and uh, his, my friend Cameron. Yes, he. Uh, we all got four free tickets to the Royal Rumble. Thanks thank to, you, uh, Super Dave. Super Dave, by Good the way. Man. And um. We, we get tickets, and I think I barely slept that night, because I was pretty excited. You know, we were all pretty excited. Fun Royal, road trip. Royal Rumble, my favorite pay-per-view of the year. Yeah, you know, we get there, we see the Rumble and whatnot. From what I heard, Mike dropped his nachos, and Kyle fell asleep at one point during the event. <laughs> I I mean, we tired. had two separate seats. <laughs> but uh, the fun part was the ride home. <laughs> Kyle here, who uh, was injured at the time from getting dropped on his shoulder, by he claims, by Victor Tadlock, uh, Tadlock still doesn't doesn't approve of that. Anyway, he's in massive amount of pain. I had a sling on. Uh, not to be confused with a Klingon. No, not at all. For all you Star Trek fans, go ahead. But uh, you know, we, we he's in a massive amount of pain. But you know, he goes through with it anyway. We go to a couple <laughs> sex shops. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get out for any of those, mind you. I didn't. Yeah, Mike was trying to look for a robe. By the way, that's why we were there. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't find a robe, but we got some free little, like, porn magazine brochures, which we all, you know, took. Uh, let me see. We went there. We went to Arby's, where Kyle <laughs> found out that Arby's has a sauce dispenser. <laughs> we did not know about this. I had never been inside an Arby's in my entire life. I thought I struck gold. I ran back out to tell them. Kyle got a number three, which was the one that came in a container. <laughs> Kyle got Arby's sauce with a side of sandwich. <laughs> That man's stomach was not the same that night. And that plays into the story later. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, it's about 3 in the morning. I'm tired. They're tired. <laughs> Kyle's got a shit. We're, so, <laughs> I hit 90 going down 35. <laughs> I get pulled over. Itasca. My first ticket. I get pulled over in Itasca. Cop was nice. Don't get me wrong. Checked the car. Found <laughs> yeah. found some of the porno mats <laughs> we had. He went through my DVD player. <laughs> It was it was it was pretty bad. Well, my pants are unbuttoned in the back yeah, because I ate so much. And, and Kyle's pants are unbuttoned, so we're about to get searched, and the cops asking us all to get out of the car. So I'm like, Kyle, you got to button up your pants. This son of a bitch gets out of the car like he's gonna beat the cops ass. I, I was trying to hurry so no car would hit my <laughs> car door, but I guess I slammed the door, and they got scared. Cameron was wanting to like light up a cigarette, and I'm like, well, don't do that, dumbass. Nope. We all had to stand outside in the cold, and I had my cock sweatshirt on. I remember that. That's right, you did, you did. So. <laughs> We finally got home about five in the morning, and that was a uh, that was an interesting drive home, but it was fun nonetheless. Very yes, fun. yes. So that that's just a sample, people, of the stories that we have. Those are just two quick stories. This cannot possibly fit into one vlog, and it won't. So we'll have smack. We'll have a few other people back uh, next time. Just these are uh this is the reason I do the vlogs right here. I don't want to just sit at home, you know, jerking myself, you know, talking to nobody. I like having people here with me to tell these stories that have actually happened. They don't need to be embellished any further. They're they're authentic as it is. Uh, so thank you all once again for uh, taking ten minutes out of your life to spend it with our stupid stories. Whether you've been with us on the stories or not, they're always really fun to share. I love. Uh, I love, I love talking about them as opposed to typing on a computer because that'll just take too stupid long. So thank you all too very much. Long. Too stupid long. That's right. I'm editing myself here in case, you know, family members are watching or whatever. But once again, thank you very much. This has been the Kyle Davis Vlog. Join us next time. And once again, as always, you never know who's going to join me. you got two seconds left. Oh.